Good afternoon, Mark. It's Max from uh, Today FM in Sydney, Australia. How are you going? I'm doing well. How about you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this afternoon. We really appreciate it. Oh, happy to do it. Fantastic. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, transfer you two to our studio now. You'll be speaking with Ed and Ash. Uh, so it's just the two of them today, uh, Ed and Ash, and they'll be, uh, they're really interested to have a, uh, you know, hear from you about, you know, why the, why the earth is flat and why you believe that's the case. Got it. I'm sure they'll have a few more questions for you from there. Okay. Sounds good. Fantastic. Won't be much longer. Thanks so much. Okay. And Mark, just checking, you're in, uh, you're in Seattle, aren't you? I'm in Seattle, yes. Awesome, fantastic. And here we go, we're just going to do this to you now. Uh, we're just pre-recording this so it's not live, so you don't need to, uh, yeah, if you need to stop and restart something, that's fine. Okay, super. Thanks, mate. Lando, the idea around Ask Me Anything yes. is that it's we get people on with either lives that we have no relation to, mm -hmm. or someone who is thinking or has ideas which are very different to our own, but who knows? Let's have a chat. Let's it's not have about a chat. Judging, it's about having a chat. That's what life we... is about. You've got to have conversations. You've got to hear what people have to say. You don't have to agree, but it's good to just give people a chance to say their bit. Absolutely right. And we are joined on the line by a flat earther. Now, you can see... Uh, this gentleman in a documentary called Behind the Curve, available on Netflix, of course. Uh, Mark Sargent, Flat Earther, hello. Hello, and thanks very much for having me. Our pleasure. Anyway. Now, Mark, Yes. I know there's nothing we can say to make you change your minds. We're not going to bother, um, and you're used to it, 99.99% .99 of the world probably think, let's be honest, that you are a crazy person. Is this true? Are you just used to people telling you all day, every day, you're crazy, Mark Sargent? I actually, believe it or not, I don't get a lot of that. Uh, and it's not 99.9%. .9%. Uh, it's it's actually much less. So, yeah. 99.9999. Uh, Another nine. Now, Mark, can I, can I ask you, where did you, what were you doing when you first uh, came across the idea that the earth was flat. Got it. Uh, I was teaching proprietary software to companies around the United States, and I was looking into conspiracies in 2014, got bored with them all, and everybody knows about flat earth and everybody hates it, and thought, okay, I can disprove this thing in a weekend. And nine months later, at the beginning of 2015, I said, you know what? I can't prove the globe in a court of law anymore. So I'm going to make a series of videos called Flat Earth Clues. I'm going to put it on the internet and hopefully people will come back and say, okay, you are absolutely wrong. And the exact opposite happened. Everyone started contacting me and say, you know what? You might be onto something. But isn't that just because most people look at this idea and just go, it's not even worth arguing with. It's yeah. been proven... That's why, right? People well, are, aren't coming to you telling you you're dumb because people don't think it's even a, a, a discussion worth engaging in because it's well, so ridiculous. Well, I, I was in that same camp. Look, if, I, if you would have come to me five years ago and said, oh, yeah, by the way, you're going to be doing conferences and traveling all over the place and, and doing public speaking about Flat Earth, I would have thought you were off your rocker. And everybody starts out against Flat Earth. Everybody hates it. Everybody, you know, thinks it's the most horrible, ridiculous thing ever. And by the time you're done looking at it, it's not that crazy after all. I don't hate it. I just, I like, why dedicate your life to this? You're obviously a very smart guy, and you're obviously very successful in your career. I'm sure you still are, but why dedicate your life to this? Uh, I, what I like to say, and I said this in the documentary, was I didn't pick Flat Earth. Flat Earth picked me. Uh, I would rather go back to my old life. But that's apparently not what I was meant to be doing. I, I believe in some sort of destiny, and this thing really resonates with a lot of people. So what are the what are the pitch when like you know the astronauts going to space and we get photos from hmm. you know of the planet? What's that? If it's not uh, well, the you know, I, unfortunately, somebody's got to be the liar in this case. And I mean, come on, why would you guys trust the Americans when it comes to anything, especially the the space program? But the the bigger question is, how did you how could you prove the globe without using a space agency? How did we know before 1972 that it was a globe? Because it wasn't like NASA just invented the globe in 1972. And most people will choose ships going over the horizon, which I would have been totally with you 10 years ago, but HD technology has changed that to where boats... No, no, that... but that's my question. What are the photos? Are you saying that NASA's done them on Photoshop? Oh, I'm, I'm saying yeah. NASA, is, it's worse than you think. Uh, it's, it, it, this is Ash, right? 
Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, th what I'm saying is the entire reason NASA was created was to keep this thing under wraps. That, that yes, that NASA is absolutely a fabrication from beginning to end. Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, the space station, uh, take your pick. It's it's all absolutely fake. But I agree. I don't think we've gone to the moon. I reckon that's a conspiracy. Oh, no. so all right. No, no, no. Yeah, see, see, I like where oh, she's no. going here. Go ahead. Yeah, but, that, but, but that's where I go. The rest of it, I'm like, yeah, the planets of the planets. But, you know, that's a bit of a PR exercise. <laughs> I don't know. I no, 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 no. I like this. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why bother? Like, Mark, like, yeah. there, someone has to have a reason for these things, right? Right. Everyone, like, in order for a conspiracy to take hold, right. the people who are using the conspiracy have to have a reason in mind. We all agree on that. Right, right, right. right. Yes. So what is the... Yeah. Why bother? Why bother inventing this, you know, in your in your idea, a, fa a fake agent, a real agency, but to give out all this fake information about space and exploration? Why, why do that? Yeah. Why do it? <sighs> Okay, why keep it a secret? And by the way, what we're saying here is, you know, you're in a giant building with walls and a floor and a ceiling, and human beings had nothing to do with the building of it. All we did was figure it out in about 1960 and decide to keep a secret. Why do you keep it a secret? Uh, the biggest reasons, power, control. Uh, think of the, I'll rattle them off. I know it's a short show. Uh, three quick ones, which would be academics, uh, all your physical sciences on top of astronomy and astrophysics would have to be retooled from the ground up, and that's in every university in every country. Economically, you'd have to suspend world markets for at least a couple months to figure out what it all means. And religiously, the five major religious houses would now have leverage against science. Between those three things, that's a, pre that's a pretty short meeting. I know those are those are things with a, a lot of weight behind them. So let's go. Let's go to the thing. Mark Sargent on one side. Yeah. Einstein, Hawking, Copernicus, mm. Magellan right. on the other. Right. What makes Mark Sargent, you know, right? And Einstein, Hawking, Copernicus, Magellan. We go on and on and on. Oh what yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, I am not saying that I'm more intelligent than all those men. They, they are. There's some really a fantastic you are acad a bit. A academic people. You are a little bit because you. You're no, just no, 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 no. What I'm. What I'm saying is, is that a lot of people, and Nikola Tesla was the first person to admit this. He said that. Oh look, no, don't bring. Yeah, I got. I got to bring him in there. No, it was, it's. It's it's a great line. He said, "Look, when when scientists start building equations on top of equations on top of equations, eventually, when you get up to a certain level, the math doesn't mean anything because none of them revisited the foundation in the first place. And that was yeah. There's some great guys with some fantastic math behind them, but if the foundation is wrong, then everything on top of it is wrong. So yeah, not Einstein, one of the most quotable men in history, no no doubt. Uh, Stephen Hawking, great guy." Uh, but look, if the foundation is wrong, it's not much I can do there. It's wrong. I mean, and so how way, do I how do I fall off the edge of the earth? Well, I mean, I'm in for that. I'll do that if I can. Get if I can flying, Mark. Yeah, if I can see a photo of the if we're flat, there's an edge, right? Right. That's what you're saying. Right, no, right, right. An edge. Yeah. The the edge of the the edge of the earth though is completely off limits. Uh, the Antarctic Treaty, which was founded in 1959, says that no corporation from any country anywhere can set up shop in Antarctica for exactly that reason. And by the way, we're not saying that the Antarctic coastline is the edge of the earth. I'm saying it's the beginning of the edge, meaning the the yeah. edge is probably thousands of miles inland and then whatever barrier you might think. Because remember, you're, you're living in a giant snow globe. So no one's no one's going out there. The Antarctic Treaty is bulletproof. Uh, hey, Mark, Mark, Mark. Yeah. Aren't you going on a cruise to Antarctica? Oh, that rumor. It's going to kill me. This is going to kill us. Okay, just to let you know. No, no. I, 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 get, I get this asked a lot. In fact, I got I asked, I'm sure you, you saw me on your uh, your Today Show down in Australia. Yeah. They asked me the same thing. Yeah. Which was, okay, initially that whole thing started out as one of our conferences. Next year's conference in 2020 was going to go out of Miami. It was just going to be a pleasure cruise. And somebody in the UK wrote that, oh, yeah, by the way, they should, while they're out there, maybe they should look for the edge of the earth. And the next thing you know, somebody oh, starts, yeah. and now all of a sudden, hey, you're, we're taking a cruise fake ship news. to the edge of the earth. It is so. convenient, bloody, bloody though, Mark. Fake news, it Mark. is convenient that you can't get to the earth. The one thing that would prove this to the world that people would stop thinking you're crazy. You move, you've got to just, you've got to go, say, Mark. F.U. Antarctica Treaty. We're going to see the edge, and then everyone will chant our names in the street. You've got to go, Mark. You've got to do it. I, I, Shackleton, you've got to go. I, I absolutely agree. I, I do think we do have to make a trip out there. The treaty is going to be tough to get around, but we're going to make efforts. The treaty, no man. one will believe you. No and one. No, everyone thinks 
I'm sorry, Mark, and you sound like a legend, and I would have a beer with you. Mm. But everyone, most people think you're crazy. You mm. need to, you need to go to the edge. That photo of you, you need a photo selfie off the edge. Like, hey, the edge suckers. Edgy, well, have an edgy. An the edgy. first ever selfie on the edge. That's it's edgy. An, it's an it's a nice I, it's Mark. it's a nice idea, but all the experiments we've been doing from from the last four years, no. I think, hold a lot of weight. No, Mark. No, no. photo from the edge. Photo from and you, Mark, realize, you realize. You realize. If I got a photo from the edge, I would be on the cover of every magazine in the world at that yes, point. Yes, exactly. But instead, win. instead, you're on YouTube, and most people think you're crazy. Like you need to. No, you bro. you edge, think edge, I'm crazy. Edge, 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 edge. 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 Mark, I'll donate ten bucks to an edge fund. Yeah, mm. I'll I'll put in a thousand. Mm. Uh, any anything else? <laughs> no, no, no. That's all we got. I just want the photo, <laughs> Mark. Hey. Mark, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming on and speaking to us today. If you want to see more, jump on your Netflix and look at Behind the Curve. Good on you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. See ya. Bye-bye. Mark, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks for having some fun with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.